Hey, what's going on? Meteorologist Mike Linden here. We are not too far away from the peak of hurricane season. That is September 10th, but we are seeing some activity popping up over the Atlantic, including a named storm right now. Let's jump into the My Radar app and take a look at what's going on. So I've got the satellite layer turned on. You can actually see right there as we go from early this morning here into uh, the sun rising. Really awesome. That, of course, is totally free in the app. But now we're going to look at what's going on with our hurricane activity. And this is all courtesy of the Hurricane Tracker. It is a premium feature that you can access here in the layers menu. Looks like the stack of cards. All you have to do is toggle it on. So first thing that we're going to start with is Tropical Storm Dexter. That's right here just off of the eastern seaboard now right now tropical storm dexter is chugging along chugging its way eastward here and we in the weather community refer to storms like dexter as a fish storm it's not going to bother any land or people only fish those unfortunate fish. Now, it is unlikely to develop into a hurricane as most of the thunderstorm activity, using the map tools here, let me show you. Our center of circulation is kind of here in this general area, but notice that most of the thunderstorm activity is here on the northern and eastern side. It's a, a very sheared storm. In fact, if you pay really close attention, you can see the winds at the low levels kind of coming in this way here. Meanwhile, you've got winds here in the upper levels trek trekking its way eastward there so it's it's getting elongated a little bit just like this um so what you need is that tight core with the thunderstorm activity around it to really tighten up and strengthen and we're just not seeing that with dexter so dexter expected to have a fairly long life as it treks its way north and eastward across the atlantic but not going to affect land all that much. So now let's take a look at this area of interest down here, just off of the coast of the Carolinas. Now, as it stands right now from the National Hurricane Center, there is a 30% chance of tropical development over the next seven days. Now, for the next 48 hours, that's two days, it is at 0%, at least as at the time of this recording. So if we see anything out of this, it is likely to come later this week into the weekend, if not maybe even beyond. The thing is here is that it's likely to kind of just sit there a little bit. We have a stalled out boundary. You can see the the uh, the front. You've got the high pressure or rather the warm front pointing northward, the cold front pointing southward. This is like the line of scrimmage in football. Neither air mass, at least as it stands right now, is strong enough to overtake one another. So you're just going to have that air mass kind of sit in place. And along that boundary, you're seeing thunderstorms developing. We could very well see some spin actually thanks to Dexter up to its northeast but largely that area of interest just going to kind of sit there now unfortunately kind of going to make messy beach conditions for everybody here in Georgia and South Carolina possibly up into parts of North Carolina as well so that's something to be aware of if you plan on heading to the area beaches or you live coastally but as of right now, there, there's not much going on organized with what we're seeing there. Now, the sea surface temperatures, those are warm. And if I toggle this on, you can see right there, 86 degrees, 83 here off the coast of Charleston, 85 near Savannah. So the water is warm, right? That is what we need for further development. And as it stands right now, there's nothing really steering it away. It, it is stuck here, so it will certainly be given a chance. Whether or not it becomes anything beyond what we're seeing here, it's a little too early to say we will keep an eye on this here over the coming days. Now let's talk about the one that I'm sure that you have seen go fairly viral on social media, and I will certainly get to that. It is this guy. <laughs> it's not necessarily this orange color here. That's where it will end up. It's actually all the way back here near Africa. That is our area of interest just off of the Gambia there. So it is exiting the African continent as it stands right now, but that is so far away, folks. Now, the National Hurricane Center has placed tropical development at 50% over the next seven days. So this guy here might have a real good chance of becoming something. But before we go any further, Jack... A little inside baseball there, our editor. Jack, take this full. Folks, 
If you see people on social media sharing model runs of this particular storm or any 300 hours into the future, we're talking a week and a half, if not beyond, they are trying to farm you and your attention for engagement. We're not going to do that here at my radar. We will let you know when there is a credible threat here as it stands. It's just silly for me to talk about possibilities of what could be impacting land literally two weeks from now. That is just so nuts. Again, as it stands right now, this is just a tropical wave. It's got plenty of room to run. But what will happen as we get into the next several days when it comes to development is we need to see where that center that center circulation forms. If it's on the southern side, then it's possible you could see it take a more southerly track. If it forms, you know, just a few more miles on the northward side, this thing more likely to curve out to sea. There are so many possibilities with this. Any kind of impacts are at least two weeks away. We will keep you updated here in the coming days. There is so much time left to go on this. So again, to recap, Tropical Storm Dexter, see you later. A fish storm, not going to impact much of anybody. The yellow area of interest off the coast of the Carolinas, that one could become maybe a rainmaker, if not a little bit more. We'll keep you posted as we get closer to the weekend. And then, of course, this tropical wave out here near Africa, plenty of time to go on that one. But given how south it's forming, it at least has the eyes of the weather world paying attention. So make sure you've got all your alerts turned on from my radar. Again, you can upgrade to the hurricane tracker and all of the premium features in my radar. There is a free trial for that, by the way. So take them for a whirl. I know you'll love them. You get so much other stuff beyond the hurricane tracker. You get Routecast. It takes the ads out of the app as well as in the video content too. And anytime we release new premium features, you'll get that included in your subscription at no extra cost. So again, from all of us here on the team at My Radar, stay safe and stay dry. We'll catch you back here in the next one. See ya. Follow My Radar on social media: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.